Welcome to the review of Unit 13. These alleged offenses occurred about 10 years ago, and IKEA has since apologized and fired the managers who were involved. Now, you may think that the issue was resolved. However, um, activists and prosecutors in France uh, were still unhappy with the way things were handled, and they believed the issue should be pursued on principle because workers' right to privacy was at stake. On principle. On principle. At stake. At stake. For this reason, they were unwilling to let this behavior go unpunished. Yes. Uh, now, prosecutors were um, keen to see the CEO of IKEA France behind bars. Uh, as it turns out, though, uh, he was only given a suspended sentence and a 50,000 euro fine. Uh, IKEA itself was fined a million euros, and uh, the detective agency that they used to spy on these people was fined 20,000 euros. These are all fairly minor punishments in the grand scheme of things, but one thing is clear, a message has been delivered. Uh, people's privacy needs to remain private. Behind bars. Behind bars. Suspended sentence. Suspended sentence. What sort of jobs do you think should require a background check? I, I guess being in the military <clears throat> okay. um, definitely needs one. Um, maybe working for, like in America, like the, the FBI, uh, somewhere like that. Any job that requires you to handle firearms. Um, we, we definitely need to do background checks on people who want to become, for example, police officers. Yeah. Um, so, like anything where you're entrusted with a lot of, uh, a lot of potentially harmful stuff mm -hmm. uh, is, is a job that needs a background check, I would say. Yeah, I also think of like lawyers, they have to have background checks uh, for criminal history and people who work with children. Um, in daycares or in elementary schools or something like that. Sure, yep. That'll do it for the review of this unit. We hope to see you guys back for the next one. Bye-bye.